Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on how to draw a pie chart. So, let's have a look at a question. The question says, the table shows 18 people's favourite colour. Display the information as a pie chart. So we have our table here, and our favourite colours are red, and there's three people that like that. Blue, and there's four people that like that. Green, and there's six people that like that. And yellow, and there were five people who chose that. So, to draw a pie chart, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to add up how many people we've got. Well, we know what this is going to add up to um, because it tells me in the question this will add up to 18, but let's check anyway. 3 plus 4 is 7, uh, plus 6 is 13, plus another 5 gives us a total of 18. So the first thing I do is I add up how many people we've got all together. Now the next thing we do, a pie chart is a circle as we have drawn here. And we know that on a pie chart, the total angle will add up to 360 degrees. So we are going to share that 360 degrees by the 18 people in our pie chart. So if we do 360 shared by 18 people, we will get 20 degrees each. So each one of these numbers on frequency, we're going to times by the number we just worked out, 20. So each one of these we times by 20. And if I do that, I can have an extra column called angle. So 3 times 20. So the angle for red will be 60 degrees. 4 times 20. The angle for blue will be 80 degrees. 6 times 20. So the angle for green will be 120 degrees. And 5 times 20, the angle for yellow will be 100 degrees. And we can check we've done this right, because we know it will add up to 360 if we've done it properly. So let's just check now. 60, add 80 as 140. Add 120, that gives us 260. Add 100, yep, that adds up to 360 degrees. So we know we're doing it right. So now we've worked out which angle um, they all are, we just need to draw it on a pie chart. So to do that, we're going to need a protractor. Um, the circle, which is drawn for you, will normally have a dot in the middle and a line straight up. If it doesn't, you'll have to draw that line straight up. So we're going to draw the first section for red, and we know we need to draw an angle, which is 60 degrees. So the way we do that, we get our protractor, and we put the middle of it in the middle of the circle. And we turn it so that the zero on the outside of a protractor is on the line that's already there. We go to 60 degrees, put a dot. And then what I'm going to do, using a ruler to get a straight line, join the center of the circle up with that dot. And the first section is done. This section is for red. So the first section, red, is now done. So now we need to draw the blue section. So the blue section, you can see we need 80 degree angle. So the way we do that, again, we put our protractor so that the middle of it is on the dot, as I've done there. And this time we turn it so that our zero on the outside is on the line we've just drawn. So it will look like I've done on the board. And we're trying to draw 80 degrees, so always using the outside numbers. I'm going to go to 80 degrees, which is here, put a dot, and then using a the ruler, I will join that up with the middle. So this next section is for blue. So we can label that section blue. And we've now done the blue bit. Two more to go. So now we're going to have a go at drawing the section for green. So we know for green we're going to draw a 120 degree angle. So the method's always the same. We put the protractor onto the circle so that the middle's in the middle. And we turn it all the way so it's on our newest line we've drawn. So the zero on the outside is on the newest line we've drawn. And using the outside numbers, we go to 120 degrees, which is there. And again, using a ruler, I'm going to join that up with the center of the circle. And this next section will be for green. So that means we have one section left for yellow. So the last section um, should be 100 degrees. 
Well, the last section should already be done for us. So this last section is the bit that was left, and that will be for yellow. So we've done it. We've drawn a pie chart with all of that information using a protractor. The key things to remember are a pie chart adds up to 360 degrees, and you share it between how many people you had all together, and that tells you the number you're going to use to times by each time. Right, I have a question here for you to have a go at. Um, this time you have 30 people, so be careful you're doing it all correctly. Good luck. <laughs> 